From the far limits of our solar system, the hunter ship Nemesis, crewed by Supreme Counselors Octavia and Fulvia, have orders to pursue the two men who have escaped from their world to seek sanctuary on Earth. It is for their own safety, for on Medusa women rule and men have few skills. Surely they cannot survive such a journey. Death must be inevitable. But male domestic Adam and mechanic Shem, helped by guidance systems from Earth, have survived. A strange alien world. Could these be Earthmen? They eat. We also must eat. It is said the Earth is a male paradise where women are kept in servitude. But how can we be sure? Male or female? Animal or mineral? How can we be sure? How can Earth be sure they are not hostile? Professor Evans and his assistants from the Radio Astronomy Institute finally make contact with the fugitives. But Nemesis has returned. Not daring to face recapture by their mistresses, Adam and Shem must find a place to hide. Somewhere on this planet, there must be a place where men can hold out against their enemies, against the fury of their women. Perfect place to hide. Well, who would control such a place? A prince, I think they're called on Earth, or perhaps a baron. <laughs> I say, we're not open today. No, no. Would you be the prince? Who, me? The baron, maybe. Yeah, the big bold baron, that's me. Baron, we are strangers here, being pursued by enemies. We request sanctuary in your castle. But students, are you? No, baron. We come from another world. Oh, and on your way. I've got no time for games. But this is not a game. We're being hunted. Who oh, by? Two women. All right, the joke's over. Now clear up. Shall we capture him? He must have an army. We'll have to take the chance. I'm warning you. I shall call the police. <laughs> Castle is ours. Lock the gates. Dr. Rudy Schmidt, Alliance Contacts Department. Report on the second interplanetary vehicle, the spaceship Nemesis. Like the first space vehicle, which was destroyed on impact, Nemesis also appears to be powered by photon emission through a complex lens mechanism. Any news of the fugitives? They've lost them. So we have a little more time for Octavia Storm's back here. They left the doors open. And unguarded. Yes. We might never get another chance. I shall do my best, Minister, but these ladies are somewhat uh, willful. Now, let's get this hunt organized. How many men can you put at my command? A hundred, two hundred? Now, madam, let me make this clear. You have no command, and neither have I two hundred men. I shall do my best, minister. Goodbye. Well, the only thing clear to me is that you're quite incapable of finding those two criminals. Although they are only domestics or Medusa, they are, they are three times as resourceful as you are. Hmm. Well, I'll not be pushed around in my own office by a bossy woman. What did you call me? Bossy, Octavia. Mm. All controls appear to be entirely computerized, but the system is still unclear. If 
finished? Nemesis Auto Monitor. Intruders? Do you know anything about that? Could be my assistants. Fool, let's come on. He's blind, he's completely blind. What was it? The ambulance is on the way. Let me look at him. Look straight at me. Total destruction of the optic nerve. Can your earth medicine deal with this? Corneal graft. Useless. Something triggered off the photon inspection panel. Some unusual light source. The flesh camera. Mm. We have a physician on board. She will bring back his sight. A physician? Yes. Just a moment. I'll make a deal with you, Adam. You promise not to obstruct our search for Adam and Shen, and we'll restore your assistant's sight. But we're not obstructing. Uh, I, I mean, they've asked for political asylum. No political asylum. We'll take them back to Medusa. Must you return immediately? Now, is it a deal or not? Please, Professor, agree to their terms. Yes, of course, but I would like the chance to study their culture, their, their, their scientific achievements. Leave him. No, wait. We agree. Very well. I'll take a woman's word. Take him aboard. But you, go with him. Not enough, Tavia, come and get me, eh? <laughs> Is that metal? Well, it's a strong enough suit of clothes. Mm, not strong enough to stop the stun gun, I'm afraid. Hey, do you realize this place is empty? No warriors, no armies, except the Baron, and he wasn't at all fierce. I don't think he is a Baron, Shem. I don't think they have warriors anymore. Hey, you're supposed to have studied these things. Yes, but... They were old records on Medusa from the time of the first survey ship. But life here seems to have changed since then. Well, it's still a good strong castle. And stun guns cannot go through stone. Hmm? Unless Octavia's got other weapons on board the Nemesis. Such as? I don't know, but I have heard of things that drive men to madness. Eyes damaged by photon leakage. This is an alien creature? Yes. Does that present problems? Different metabolism. Stay still. Similar nervous system. Interesting. May we take this creature back for laboratory examination? Just get on with the operation. Very well. He knows what she's doing. Will he be all right? Of course he'll be all right. Now just relax. I'm going to give you a general anaesthetic. Hello? Hello, Hilda. Is that you, Hilda? Now listen, Hilda, I want you to call the police. 
primitive communication device. Who are you speaking to? Yoda. It's, uh, my wife, it's the missus. The what? His mistress. Yeah. Your domestic is all right, madam. There is nothing to worry about. Well, look here, there's no money here or nothing. Well, what is it you're after? I told you, sanctuary. Well, look, I should have been gone half an hour ago, you know. Should we let him go? No, if we have to defend the castle, we may need him. What a dreadful planet this is for guidance equipment. So much interference. Uh, madam, this is the Minister for Internal Security. Minister, uh, Octavia. Delighted to meet you. Uh, may I say, this is a unique moment for us. The first time in the history of our planet, the contact has been made with uh, alien beings. I doubt if they'd crossed the river. Medusan males hate water. Uh, to find that you re resemble us so closely. Well, you don't resemble me at all, foolish man. We have to get out into the open. Uh, I... But you seem to be so familiar with our language. Well, your language can be learned by any educated Medusan in five minutes. Well, now get to the point. Please understand. We have so much to learn from your civilization, your technology. There's only one thing I can teach you about our civilization. That it does not suffer the pomposity of foolish little men. That's why we are more advanced than you. I think we've located them. They've apparently got a hostage. Follow us. I need to consult with the medical center on Medusa. Has something gone wrong? The operation was successful, but the patient has not responded normally to anesthetic treatment. Explain. He has stopped breathing. of time. Come break the gates road. down. We can't break down the gates of Wessex Castle. It's an ancient monument. As far as I'm concerned, your whole planet is an ancient monument. Look! Is Octavia with you? Yes! Come on out immediately! Or we'll break in! We have a hostage! If you try to come in, we'll drop him over the edge! Inspector, loud hailer. Said no force. first. Uh, you heard what he said? Very well. I give you an hour. Take me back to my spaceship. That is a very clumsy method of trying to restore respiration. Your method didn't work very well. It is an alien creature. I explained that. I've cured his eyesight after all. Cured the eyesight and killed the patient. He's not dead. It's worked. It's worked. Yes. But he's only faint. Wait here. 
I want to see how my assistant is. I let you know. Just a moment. you can see. Who's that? It. I mean her. She's a great eye surgeon, but a terrible anaesthetist. I think it's safe now to move him. I'd like to take him to hospital. Get ready for takeoff. What do you mean, takeoff? Now stand by. them out into the open. Sonic motor? The nightmare cannon. And thirdly, even if we offer you our protection, we have no means to enforce it. They have these advanced weapons. Until we know what they are, they are scared of taking life. It's against the Medusan religion. But they paralyze movement. And they have these director systems for hunting you down. Yes, but they only have a limited range. Anyway, they can be confused by crowds. Then there is another problem. We've had to make this bargain with Octavia. There are, of course, several ways in which we could cope with that, but... What's the matter? Octavia. What? Over there. Ha! That's just a portrait of uh, Oliver Cromwell. Octavia. What's the matter? Come out. Come out into the open. Out! Out! Adam. Come along, Adam. This is your mistress. You know you must come back. You know you must. Oh. Sam, wait! It's an illusion! It's a dream! Out! 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 Maybe know what that is doing. It projects a series of sound pulses into the brain of the target. The effect is to disturb the hypothalamus and allow their subconscious fears to come to the surface. Fears of what? Women, of course. Oh. You think all men have a subconscious fear of women? On Medusa, naturally. Isn't that true of that? No. I was talking to you, Dr. Becker. I wouldn't know. It's a pity. It's the key to good government. Now, check census. They're still in the castle. Increase sonic image. Your mistress this moment. You love me, Adam. Come into my arms. <laughs>
<laughs> it's only a dream. A nightmare. Don't give in. All right. Don't give in. You've been a silly boy, but I'll forgive you. Just come out now into the open and we'll come down to pick you up. Don't give in. Yes, madam! Yes, Shen, madam! Come back! Get them away from here, into the city. Right, but I made a promise. Love you, Leakins. So have I. We can discuss that later. How long will it take for the ship to land? Oh, their past performance, about two minutes. You won't even reach the main road. drive motors. I have to take her back to orbit for repair. Then they'll get away. Not for long. We have two hostages. Unless Adam and Shan are returned to us, you will never see Earth again. 